Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are fine and staying safe at home inshallah. Grade 3. In video number 1, we have learnt about unit number 8, electricity. Now, in this video number 2, we are going to solve the exercises of the same unit. Now, grade 3. Recall the lesson in your mind and look at this picture. Do you think this bulb will light up? As you can see, there is a gap in the circuit. So, just think about it. The bulb will light up or not. You can discuss your answer with your parents and siblings at home. Now, let's check your concept. You have to label the parts on this picture of a circuit. The names of the parts are given here like battery, filament, bulb, and flex. Choose the correct name of the part of the circuit and write it in the relevant box. Yes, very good. As you all can recognize a bulb, the tiny wire inside the bulb is called filament. Yes, this power source of the circuit is called battery. And the two wires that are connected to the bulb and the battery are called flex. Let's do worksheet number one of unit number eight to make your concepts more clear. Question number one is, complete the following sentences by crossing out the wrong words. Here, you people have to cross out the wrong words in each sentence. Number one is, a conductor or insulator is a material that stops the flow of current. Here, conductor is the wrong word. So cross it out. Number two is conductors or insulators are materials that electrical current can easily pass through. Yes, insulator is the wrong word here. So cross it out. Number three is the flow of electricity is an electric current or circuit. The wrong word is circuit so cross it out number four is a closed or open circuit is a circuit in which electrical current can flow yes open is the wrong word here so you will cross out open circuit number five is the path that an electric current follows is a current or circuit yes the wrong word in this sentence is current. So cross it out. Number six is a conductor or battery supplies energy to move electricity through a circuit. Yes, the wrong word is conductor. So cross it out. Number seven is conductors or insulators are materials that electric current cannot pass through. So the wrong word is conductors. Number eight is metal or wood is an example of a material that is a conductor. Here wood is the wrong word. So we have done question number one.
Now let's start question number two. Question number two is tick the objects which are conductors. Here the pictures are given. So you people will see the picture and tick that objects which are conductors. Okay, so yes, picture number one, the boat in the water. Since water is conductor, so you will tick this object. Number two is bulb. Yes, bulb is a conductor, so tick the bulb. And the third one is microwave. Yes, you will take the microwave. Here, our question number two is done. Now, let's do question number three. Take the electrical circuits through which electricity will flow. Now, the circuits are given here. We will see which circuits are the closed circuits. In row number one, just look it carefully. Yes, circuit number one in row number one is circuit through which electricity will flow. This is a complete circuit. So, tick first circuit in row one. Now, look at the circuits in row two. Again, first circuit in row two is the complete circuit. So you will take the first circuit. Here our worksheet is completed. Now open page number 71 of your science book and let's solve exercise number 1 of unit 8. Exercise 1 is choose the correct answer. Multiple options are given here. We have to circle the one correct option. Number one is, in order for a current to flow through a circuit, it must be A. Complete B. Incomplete C. Simple and D. Electric the correct option is A. Complete. N number two is Why is plastic used to cover electrical wires? Options are A. It looks nice. B. It keeps them neat. C. It is an insulator. And D, it is a conductor. So the correct option is C, it is an insulator. Number three is which of the following is a good conductor of electricity? A, wood. B, plastic. C, metal wires and D. Glass. The correct option is C. Metal wires. Number four is what is stored in a battery? A. Electricity. B. Food. C. Energy. And D. Water. The correct option is energy. Now, number five, the last one is which of these are part of a circuit? A. Battery. B. Bulb. C. Flex. Or D. All of them. Yes. Battery, bulb and flex, these all are the parts of a circuit. So, we will circle option D, all of them. Now, 
our exercise number one is completed here. Now we will solve exercise number two on page number 71 that is fill in the blanks. Fill in each blank using the words in the box. The words are given so we will choose the correct word and fill in the blanks. Number one is the path through which a current flows is called a dash. Complete conductors, insulators or circuit. Yes. Blank number one is circuit. Number two is a dash circuit is needed for an electric current to flow. Complete conductors or insulators. Yes, here comes complete. Blank number two is complete. Number three is materials that allow electricity to pass through them are called Conductors or insulators? Yes, they are conductors. So blank number three is conductors. Number four is materials that do not allow electricity to pass through them are called? Yes, the last one is insulator. So the fourth blank is insulators. Now let's repeat. Blank number one is circuit. Blank number two is complete. Blank number three is conductors. And blank number four is insulator. On page 72, here is exercise number three. Answer these questions. Question number one is, what does the word circuit mean? Its answer is a circuit is the path along which electric current flows. Question number two is what is electricity which moves along wires called? Its answer is electricity which moves along wires is called current. Question number three is why does flex have a thin layer of plastic on the outside? Its answer is flex has a thin layer of plastic on the outside because plastic is an insulator. Exercise number 4 on page 72 is mark these sentences with tick or cross. Number 1 is the filament is the path along which electric current flows. This is wrong. So you will put a cross in front of this sentence. Number 2 is metal and water are conductors of electricity. Yes, this is right. So, put a tick in front of this sentence. Number three is, a gap in the circuit will allow electric current to flow. No, this is wrong. So, you will put a cross in front of this sentence. Number four is, a complete circuit allows electric current to flow. Yes, correct. So put a tick here. Number five is a pencil and a wooden ruler are good conductors of electricity. No, they are not conductors. They are insulators. So you will put a cross in front of this. Here you can see the picture of a plug. The plug is made up of two materials conductor and insulator. The pins of the plug are made up of metal as metal is conductor 
and the outer covering or case of the plug is made up of plastic as plastic is an insulator why the pins are made up of metal in the other picture you can see we always insert the pins of the plug in the switch board because they are made up of metal and we all know that metal is a conductor and conductors always allow electric current to pass through them so that is why pins are made up of metal and they are always covered with plastic or rubber or any other insulator because insulators prevent us from getting electric shocks so that is why we can easily hold the plug and insert in the switchboard so grade 3 under the supervision of your parents you can observe the different types of plugs at your home like the plugs of your laptops mobile phone acs fridge or tv etc etc observe the material the plugs are made up of and write it down in the notebook or you can draw the picture of the plug and label the material each part is made of now i have a homework for you and your homework is exercise number five on page number 72 that is find out what you have to find out is number one which items in your classroom use electricity and number two is which items in your house use batteries so you will find out these items and make a list in your notebooks got it grade 3 here our exercises of unit number 8 are completed i hope you people are able to solve these exercises on your book easily allah hafiz and stay blessed